Andre Ward, Sergey Kovalev rematch. All right, guys. Look, I got I got some bombshells for you today. Um, just I don't want to call it breaking news, but I've done a lot of digging, a lot of research, trying to figure out what in the hell is going on with the rematch, right? I mean, both well, not both sides. Mainly Andre Ward, Rock Nation. They're they're kind of you know they're being really quiet about um, you know the details, like what what's going on. Okay, look, let me just break it down into like maybe, I don't know, three or four main points, okay? First of all, this is some diva bullshit by Andre Ward, and I mean like diva bullshit, okay? Uh, look, Kovalev put all three belts on the line, gave Andre Ward the chance, you know, to be, to be the unified champion, okay, in one night. In in, in in little little more than 30 minutes gave him the opportunity of a lifetime. Andre Ward only had five fights in five years, okay? I mean, he gave him a golden opportunity. And now, <coughs> the rematch, okay, what what's going on? I mean, that's what everybody keeps asking me. I'm getting text messages. I'm getting private messages in the comment section. What's going on with the rematch, okay? So I've done my homework, and I now know exactly what is going on. Okay, basically, Andre Ward is threatening to retire, and, and I know you know this, but I'm going to tell you some things in a minute here you don't know. I guarantee you, you don't know. Okay, he's threatening to retire if if the terms aren't to his liking. Okay, uh, now he, you know, he he feels like he's the A side, he's the champion, uh, which we all know it was a robbery. Okay, I, I mean, I made a, a complete video. Actually, I made like three videos about that. Broke it down round by round. Went over punch stats. I mean, we went over it round by round. It was a clear-cut robbery, okay? Everyone knows that even, you know, these other bias channels, most of them, the ones that have an ounce of integrity, they even admitted it was a fucking robbery, okay? Uh, so now that Andre Ward, he's in the position that Kovalev was in, you know, he's got all the belts, right? So what's he going to do? That's the big question right now. <clears throat> so... I want here's one thing I don't know. Uh, Andre Ward is basically he's basically saying that you know he wants to be paid right and you know compensated like abundantly for a rematch. Now here's the problem I have with that. Okay, well first of all, does is, is that directed towards Rock Nation or Kathy Duva in main event promotion? So I'm actually going to try to get an interview with her. Uh, it's not hard to do. I think I can pull it off, and uh, you know so I can get get the details. So uh, you know I want to know the details, but right now that's the thing that no one really knows okay maybe he's having internal problems with uh rock nation because look the contract the the rematch clause in the contract it's already predetermined it's already preset the amount that he gets uh you know everything is already agreed upon in the event of a rematch they had i mean that's the whole point of a contract you see this is what this is what I don't understand. I mean, this shows you what a diva he is, okay? And just like, you know, the whole Goosen promotion thing, how Andre Ward literally sabotaged his own career over a contract dispute, well, now, you know, he's basically doing the same thing, okay? Uh, and, I mean, but the only thing I don't know, I don't know if he has a problem with you know, the original agreed upon terms, which how could he have a problem with the original contract when he agreed to it, right? I mean, look, here's how it works, okay? Whenever you you sign a boxing contract, okay, when you sign a contract, you look at the rematch clause in that contract and you agree to it. I mean, a part of your signature is that you are agreeing to that uh, to, to, the, to the rematch clause. And actually, it's called a common security clause. I mean, for, for those of you out there who don't know, a rematch clause, it, that's, that's, that's what it's labeled as in a contract, a common security clause. Okay, this is common knowledge. I'm not telling you anything new. Okay, uh... But that's the thing. Like I, I, I can't. I couldn't imagine Andre Ward being such a diva, okay, and a narcissistic, just egomaniac that he could agree to a contract in the event that he won, and, and like I said, the the negotiations are already predetermined, and then come back and go, well, you know, eh, that's not good enough. Uh, you know, I know I agreed to it, but eh, it's not good enough. 
Okay, I mean that's bullshit. That is some. That is like a punk fucking move. I mean, you know, look, I know it's business. Okay, and and you know there are levels of integrity. I know a lot of people out there. Oh, it's business. It's business. You know, it's, what? It, but look, when you sign a contract, you've already agreed to the terms in a rematch. I mean, it, you know, that's just it. Case closed. You know, there shouldn't be any kind of dispute coming from Andre Ward out of that contract. Now, it could be to be to be fair, okay? Because you know, like I, like I tell you guys, we are fair. In all fairness, it could be Rock Nation. Maybe they're not giving him, you know, the amount that he wants. So it could be a dispute with them, and not necessarily Kathy, Kathy Duva and uh you know main event promotion so that that's one thing i kind of thought about okay <clears throat> and i'm going to read you some quotes in a minute from andre ward and from kathy duva okay but here look here here here's the news that i'm sure you guys are unaware of okay well i'm going to give you two bits of news here number one he could simply wait the contract out okay now how you do that every contract every boxing contract they they have a a term a length a link term meaning the contract will expire in x amount of months okay again once you, once you sign that contract you know you agree that it, you know if both if both people if both sides if they don't um, you know agree to, to the terms or whatever like if Andre Ward says no I'm not going to do it well 12 months later it's usually 12 months the contract will expire so that's another angle or another direction Andre Ward could go. He could simply wait it out because the contract does have a shelf life, okay? The contract does have an expiration date, so to speak. So he could do that. I mean, what I think he, he might do, he might, he might just say, hey, you know, we couldn't come to an agreement. They're not treating me right. The contract expired. And, you know, now I'm going to go fight this guy or I'm going to retire or whatever. I mean, you know, th there's so many different way, uh, different angles here and different ways he could go with it. I'm not sure what he's going to do. I mean, my, my best guess is that he's probably going to run the clock out. You know, he's probably going to let the contract expire and then just blame it on somebody else like he always does. And that's the kind of shit that he does. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And look, like I said, that's a bombshell. And I did confirm that there is there is a, a, a timeline on this contract. OK, so that has been confirmed. Now, what that timeline is, I have no idea. Typically, it's 12 months. I mean, the, in a typical boxing contract, it's a 12 month term. And I can't see Andre Ward. You know, it, it, when they originally signed the contract, I can't see him wanting any more than a 12-month uh, shelf life on that contract because, you know, he doesn't want to wait around for a year and a half, you know, or however many months before he can, you know, use that as an excuse not to take the fight. So the minimum is usually 12 months. Well, it's not the minimum. That's the standard. Actually, the standard is usually 12 months. So, you know, I could see Andre Ward agreeing to a 12-month term on a contract. So he's probably waiting out the clock. That's what I think he's going to do. Now, what does that mean for uh, Sergey Kovalev? Okay, for Kovalev, <clears throat> um, that means all the belts are vacant. Okay, you've got the WBA, the IBF, and the WBO. Okay, so the number one contender for the WBO, WBA would be Dmitry Bival. Okay, so he'd have to go fight that guy capture the WBA. Now the IBF, Beater Beef, which I would love to see that fight. We all know a tour a, a tour Beater Beef beat uh Kovalev in the amateur, so that'd be a great and Beater Beef, he's like he's one of my, you know, one of my favorite upcomers. So I'd like to see that fight actually. Shit. Uh <laughs> you know that but that's probably would be like the only good thing that would come out of the whole situation was was we would get a Beater Beef and Kovalev fight. Okay, the WBO uh, Dominic uh, Bosel. Okay, so you know he'd have to basically he'd, he'd have to beat all three of those guys to get the three belts back. If Andre Ward vacates, retires, runs the clock out, or whatever. Now here's what I I bet there is a clause in the contract that if Andre Ward if he does run the clock out, I, I bet he loses the belts. Okay, I, I, I mean hopefully Kathy Duva you know, had enough brains to put that into the contract that if Andre Ward, you know, so chooses to run the contract out, 
the term link out that uh, he, he would be forced to vacate the belts. Okay, so I could see that happening. I can see it happening. And then he might move back down, you know, from light heavyweight to like super middleweight. Uh, maybe something like that to say, oh, well, you know, uh, uh, what do you what, what do you say? Oh, I tried to be great and I was, you know, I want to be great. And now I'm going back down to be great down here. And I want to be great over there and great over here. I mean, it's such bullshit. I mean, this guy, I mean, seriously, like, I mean, there's just like a handful of boxers that I just like passionately do not like that. I just like to the core dislike and Andre Ward is one of them. Uh, what's his name? Canelo is another one. Okay. Mayweather is another one. I mean, really, that's about it. I mean, mainly like those three guys, Andre Ward, Mayweather, and Canelo are really the only three boxers that I have like, like just hatred for. Honestly, I can't stand them. I mean, I think they're fucking all divas and it's just bullshit. I'm mean, all, this whole thing is bullshit. Look, if he had any kind of pride or dignity, or if he was any kind of a, a, a man, just a man, he, he'd take that rematch in a heartbeat. Like I said, he's already agreed to the term, so there shouldn't be a problem. Now, if he has internal problems with Rock Nation, iron that shit out and get in the ring, okay? I mean, look, if I beat somebody and everybody was claiming it was a robbery, I mean, I, I man, I couldn't wait to get back in there and prove to the world that it was not a robbery and that I am great and that I can beat this guy. You know, to walk around, you know, like a fraud, basically, is what he's doing. I, I, I couldn't do it as a man. I mean, as a man, I could not do it, okay? Because that is just some diva bitch bullshit. That's what that is. I mean, it is like the definition. I mean, the only thing worse I can think of is like Canelo vacating the belt. You know, that's about the only thing to, in order to duck Gennady Golovkin. That's about the only thing worse I can think of a boxer can do. So if he retires or he lets his contract run out, I mean, he is defenseless. There, You, you cannot defend him if that happens, okay? Uh, but yeah, let's read a quote. Okay, now this is what Kathy Dewa said. Anybody can retire if they want. That's his choice. But if he wants to fight, he'll fight Sergey Kovalev next. The terms for the rematch was negotiated when Ward was given the opportunity to fight for three titles. Uh, you make concessions when you get the opportunity. So all the terms for the rematch between main events and Rock Nation were negotiated at that time fucking time okay so i don't want to hear any of these channels out here you know just spouting their ignorance and talking their shit okay trying to defend what he's doing now i'm going to give him a little more time okay i'm not i'm not going to jump on that bandwagon just yet but it's looking that way it's looking that way like i said he's going to probably demand a ton of money and just like, you know, he had his little goose and negoti or contract problems, he's just going to blame it on some shit like that. And we'll probably never get the rematch, okay? Now, this is coming from uh, Mr. Diva himself here. I think I think I said it all. <clears throat> I, I think I said it all in that comment I made, uh, said Ward, about his rematch with Kovalev. It's simple. I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, dude, you had, he, I mean, what did he have? Like the Super Six? He had five fights in five years. Uh, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and we just got to see, okay? Uh, that's what he said. The rematch is obviously something we're entertaining. Uh, entertaining? Like, uh, if it's right, let's do it. If not, it's about getting the right deal. Now, what is he talking about getting the right deal? He already agreed to it. You know, I mean, again, that is some diva punk shit. You know, he already agreed to the original deal. Now he's like, oh, well, if we get the right deal, we'll go ahead and move forward. I mean, come on. I mean, that's just some shit right there, okay? It's about putting myself in the right situation. We earned it. No, you didn't earn shit, dude. You had five fights in five years, and you got and you got a robbery gift decision. You didn't earn a goddamn thing, okay? Nothing. I mean, the only thing this guy earned was he needs to get back in there and prove it. That's it. That, that's all he earned. In my book, he earned the opportunity to prove himself, period, in a rematch. I mean, that's the only thing he has earned, okay? You guys saw my last fight. Yeah, we damn sure did. I beat <laughs> I beat the guy that nobody said I could beat. Like, again, you didn't beat him. You lost. It was a robbery. 
So moving forward, I want to act like we beat the guy that nobody. Yeah, you want to act because it is acting because you're fucking an actor because you didn't beat him. So it therefore it is acting, okay? Because it is just he did not beat Kovalev. And look, I will debate that with anybody out there, at any day, any time, any you, any day, any time. Call me whatever. Seriously, because look, like I said, we broke it down in multiple videos, okay? And I wasn't biased. I didn't. I don't care who. One. It doesn't matter to me if Kovalev won. I don't care. Doesn't matter. But, you know, it was a robbery. Okay. Uh, as long as everybody acts like that, I think that we should be fine. So, in other words, as long as everyone, like, you know, feeds him grapes and, like, fans him with little palm trees and shit and, you know, treats him like a little king, we'll be okay. What a fucking diva. I mean, seriously, like, it is unbelievable. I mean, look, I'm telling you now. Like, I could probably never interview this guy in person. I, I, I couldn't. I could not do it. I mean, I, I, just, I just, I would just, I'd, I'd get kicked out. I would, I'd literally get escorted out by security because I would ask him the real questions. You know, I would call him out on being a diva. You know, I would bring up like round 10. Let's take round 10, for example. Okay, when I uh, remember he was trying to show off and then <laughs> Kovalev popped him with that jab. And I mean, round 10, Kovalev clearly won. Okay, even the other channels, okay, the naysayers, the Kovalev haters, and the Andre Ward dick riders, even they admitted Kovalev won round 10. But yet, all three judges gave round 10 to Andre Ward. I mean, how do you explain that? That's like, a, I'll tell you what that is. That's called desperation. They know they're getting towards the end of the fight and they better, you know, pencil in as many rounds as they can because they don't know what the other guys have already scored, which I think they are. They do actually like the other two judges, like, you know, so I think they all, all three judges like panicked and just gave Andre Ward uh round 10. Okay. Go back and watch round 10. Look, go back and watch round 10 and you, then you come in my comment section and tell me Andre Ward won. I mean, prove it to me. Prove it to me with stats. I mean, punch counts. Like, it's bullshit. I mean, it is the biggest robbery of the decade. I mean, possibly all time, okay? I mean, shit. Fucking diva motherfucker. God, I can't stand this guy. So, look, guys, what do you think in the comments section below? Like, look, let's do a quick recap, okay? Andre Ward, I think he's trying... He, I think he's going to run out the clock, but, you know... Hope, hopefully, act, you know, I want him to prove me wrong, okay? You know, Andre Ward, if you're listening to this video, I think you're a fucking diva. Prove me wrong, okay? Prove me wrong. If he takes the rematch, you know, I'll give him a ton of credit. Now, if he takes the rematch and, you know, demands a bunch of diva shit, that credit's out the window, okay? Because he didn't prove shit, nor did he earn shit. Like I said, you know, he had one fight. You know, he jumped up after what, a, a, what a, how many, like two, like a two-year layoff, okay? Wins a robbery, and he well, I earned it. Are you talking about how he earned it? No, you didn't earn it. Kovalev earned it, okay? Kovalev made his way through the ranks, captured three belts, you know, in tough fights. Kovalev earned it, okay? You didn't earn shit. Counterpunch boxing, we are out.